welcome back to my channel Priya Moments. In this video, I am going to give you an explanation of the poem Any Woman written by Catherine Tainan. Now, the whole unit, the first whole unit in the plus two English textbook is about women empowerment and the role of women in the society. You have read the speech by Christine Lagarde which is named as the three L's of empowerment and we learn how the three L's help a woman to be empowered. So in this form, Catherine Tainan is explaining the position of a woman in a society or in a family. Okay, let's have an introduction to it. Just listen. The roles of a woman. Let's have a discussion on the roles of a woman in families. Role of woman in families. Okay. She manages the family. Works as chef. The housekeeper. She does the laundry. Sometimes the driver. She looks after the children. Resource conflicts. Event planner counselor, guide and mentor. She does all the household duties. She is a teacher. She is the finance manager. She prepares food, washes and irons clothes, educates children, cleans the house and keeps it tidy, make the bed, does the shopping, when anyone is sick, she takes care of them. She plants vegetables in the garden. She scolds and punish the children when it's necessary. Okay, let's see what are the duties that are or the role of a woman in family. Just look into the pictures. What are the uh, household cards of a woman in a family? Making the bed. Taking the rubbish out, see, you can see, and uh, this there's no need of any pictures to show you the role of a woman in a family because you all know you are daily, day to day life. You are watching many women are in your family and outside the family, and you know what are the roles they are doing in their day to day life. Okay, now let's have a brief explanation or not brief profile of Catherine Tainan. Okay, Catherine Tainan is the poetess of this poem, Any Woman. Catherine Tainan was an Irish writer, prolific in a variety of genres, whose life and work spanned the 19th and 20th centuries. Best known as a poet and exponent of the Irish literary revival, her vast body of work explored issues of feminism, her Catholic faith, Irish nationalism, and the First World War. Catherine's first poem, A Dream, was published in 1878. This was the first piece of what would be an extraordinary amount of work published throughout her life. By 1931, she would write over 100 novels, more than a dozen books of poetry, 12 collections of short stories, several volumes of autobiography, and a variety of newspaper articles. Okay, now you just read the profile given in your textbook on Catherine Tainan. Catherine Tainan, 19, sorry, 1859 to 1931 is an Irish-born writer, known mainly for her novels and poetry. She has, to her credit, more than, more than a score of, score of means, 20s, score of, and uh, seven books of verse. She usually wrote under the name Catherine, Catherine Tynan Hinson. Her human sympathy is keen, tender, warm, and constant. The poem, Any Woman, presents the all-embracing power of a woman 
to hold a family together so that's the profile given in your textbook see the introduction some questions are given as an introduction in your textbook you just uh, something to be discussed in our classroom but in this present scenario we can't so you just try to write the answers you just try to say or write the answers in your notebook for these questions what's your concept of freedom when does a person enjoy freedom so you all know freedom and you all not only you but everybody in the world that every living beings need freedom and what is the concept or what's the real concept of freedom what is meant by freedom do women enjoy real freedom so nowadays women boast of they are living in they are free but are they enjoying the real freedom next is women support a family but are they really supported by the family are the women of course they are supporting the family but are the family members members of the family supporting them do women share equal status with men in their family or in the society or wherever it is do the women enjoy the real status with men is something to be answered you just if uh, your friends are there with you you just have a discussion with them with them or just discuss you know, within yourself and try to write the answers in your notebook okay now let's have a look at the poem named any woman by Catherine China any woman see the speaker of this poem any woman uh, can be no, no name is given here it can be any woman a woman is a speaker who is who realizes her role in the family and she is explaining what she to the family or what she to the society by herself she is explaining uh, to us okay now you just if you have the textbooks with you you just read or if you don't have the textbook you just look into the screen the poem the poem opens the vision on the importance of a mother of a of a mother of a woman in the family it glorifies the position of a woman in a family metaphorically metaphor i think you know what metaphor is this is a figure of speech metaphorically history indian history tells us that women are given much respect in the um, respect and importance but nowadays women face many many problems so uh, here let's um, look into it and actually what's the position of a woman in a family just let's read the first stanza am the pillars of the house the keystone of the art am i take me away and roof and wall would fall to ruin me utterly so she is telling she is explaining herself she realizing realizing her position she is explaining herself to us that i am the pillars of the house the keystone keystone which is very important if a keystone is not so strong the whole building will collapse okay so i am the pillars pillars also very important pillars of the house i am the keystone and if i am taken away if i am removed then the roof and the wall would fall to ruin me utterly if the keystone and the pillar pillars are removed then the whole building will collapse and everything and everybody will be ruined including myself the mother is telling or the woman is telling if i am removed then everything is ruined okay now i think you understood the first paragraph sorry first stanza now let's go to the second stanza second stanza is this i am the fire upon the hearth i am the light of the good sun i am the heat that warms the earth which else were colder than a stone i am the fire upon the hearth i am the fire if there's no fire on the hearth then what's the purpose of it so if only there is fire on the hearth then the food can be prepared and life exists 
I am the light of the good sun. Good sun. If there is no light from the sun, what is the use of it? And I am the light and I am the fire and I am the light of the sun. I am the heat that warms the earth. I am the person. Uh, it's me who warms the earth. Or else, which else were colder than a stone? If I am not there, it will be as cold as stone. Okay, so I am very important. I am the fire upon the earth. I am the light. I am the heat. And if I am not, it, everything will be remain cold and lifeless. Cold and lifeless. So every each and every line is metaphor. Okay, the whole poem is metaphor, and the house is the center. metaphor figure in this poem okay now let's go through the third stanza at me the children warm the hands i am the light of love alive without me cold the hearthstone stands nor could the precious children try so again the same meaning at me the children warm their hands children get warmth or the warmth of love from me i give the children warmth i am the light of love alive see i am the light of love alive to make alive to be to have life everybody should have love so i am the light of love without me cold the host on the above stands also explain it without me the host on will be cold and no could the precious children try and children can't try if i am not there the children can't try so that is explained in the second uh, third stanza and now the fourth one i am the twist that holds together the children in a sacred ring they are not of love from whose close tether no lost child goes a wandering so here she is explaining that i am the twist that holds together i am the chain i am the person who chains or who tie up the whole family together the children in a sacred ring sacred ring of love i am tying up the children in its sacred love and i am the twist that the children in its sacred ring the knot of love with a knot of love with a tie of love i am tying all together from whose close tether from whose close chain no lost child goes a goes child goes a wandering no child will be lost because of because of my child because of my knot of love no, no child will go a wandering no child is lost because of me i am tying everybody together to the family with a bond of love that is in the next stanza now now go through the go to the next page and the next stanza there house from floor to roof i deck the wall the board i spread i spin the curtains walk and woof and shake the down to be their bed so again she is telling now then in the beginning she told that she is very important as the pillar and keystone of the house now she is the person who is making the house to home you i think you know what's the difference between house and home house is just the building and home is the persons and everything in, uh, in that uh, house in that building and the bonds the relationship the love and everything makes a house a home so she is telling i am the house from floor to roof floor to roof i am the house i deck the wall the board i spread i deck the walls i decorate the walls the boards of the house and the board i spread i spin the curtains warp and woofs i spin the curtains the curtains which are there on the win- on the windows and doors i i spin the curtains 
the warp and woof the warp and woof the horizontal and the vertical uh, thread which is running in the curtain and shake the down to be the bed and on the bed i spread the down down means feathers i make the bed so soft and with the down or with the feathers i mean i make the life of the everybody in the uh, family i make the life more comfortable if i am not the no comfort will be there for the children and other people of the family okay now the last stanza i am the wall against all danger the door against the wind and snow the whom a woman laid in a manger manger take me not to the child children children grow see how the poem is ending i am the wall against all danger see i am here to so that no danger will come to anybody in the family because i am the wall that's against all danger their door against the wind and snow wind and snow which comes through the doors and windows i stop them i the doors i am the door against the wind and snow means the dangers that are coming from outside okay wind and snow here denotes the danger that's coming from outside though whom a woman laid in a manger now she is making a prayer to the uh, somebody who who a woman laid in a manger who's that yes of course this jesus christ who was born in a manger by by virgin mary okay so who so she is making a prayer to jesus christ see what the prayer is take me not to the children grow oh jesus don't take me to you till my children grow may till my children grow they need my help they need my comfort they need my love so don't take me until my children are grown up see what a prayer this is the prayer in every mother's heart every mother pray prays thus okay so this is a prayer by any woman so very apt no this title this way title is very apt as is the speaker of this poem the of this poem can can be any woman so that's the poem uh, wonderful poem given here by katherine tyna see i will be giving you the summary of the poem in the description box okay go to it thank you for watching keep watching and subscribe the channel priya moments for more videos 